Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I let you know that if you are a Windows insider, that Microsoft had confirmed that due to the Thanksgiving weekend in the United States, there would be no new insider flights this week. And I thought because we are not getting any new builds this week, this may be a good time to actually talk about what is the Windows Insider program. In case you are new to this channel or in, just in case you are unaware, so if you are an insider, maybe this is not the video for you, but if you aren't, then maybe you would like to stick around. Now, first of all, a brief background. The Insider program is where Microsoft tries out and tests new Windows features, fixes, and updates before they roll out to the actual public, to the stable channel. And these are rolled out in the form of builds that are flighted to different channels depending on which channel you have actually signed up to and for. So... The program is aimed at people who are termed enthusiasts, so early adopters who enjoy testing software. And when you test the software and you try out the builds and flights, then you can send feedback to Microsoft, who hopefully will make some changes before those builds actually roll out to the stable channel. So that's just a brief overview. And in the Insider program, in case you're unaware, you have four different testing channels. Okay, And those are... The Canary channel, the Dev channel, the Beta channel, and the Release Preview channel. So those are your four testing channels. And each channel features different um, content and varies in risk regarding the features and obviously their stability. Now, first of all, starting with the Canary channel. This is the most experimental channel uh, of the Windows Insider program, which according to Microsoft is designed... Um, to test underlying platform changes that are in very early development. And the latest build in the Canary channel was 27754, which in effect could be Windows 11 25H2, which is next year's annual feature update, or a possible Windows 12, although that has never been confirmed. And the risk of something going wrong, or as I would say on the channel, going bang in the night in the Canary channel is harsh. Um, this channel is also recommended for more advanced users who understand the Windows operating system and can troubleshoot technical issues um, should obviously those pop up, which there are quite a lot of those in the Canary channel. So that's just a brief overview as to the Canary channel. Then we get to our next, which is the Dev channel. And the Dev channel is if you want to gain access to... Um, new features as soon as possible. So this is where Microsoft often launches new features that are in active development and they roll out to this channel first. And if we click on the latest build in the dev channel, this was build 26120.2415. And that in effect, they are um, testing 24H2, which is the current stable release, but the platform is designed around 24H2. And the risk of something going wrong is medium in the dev channel. Now, as mentioned, this is if you want to gain access to new features as soon as possible. And this is also where Microsoft tries out new feature ideas and experiments. So this means that not every new feature you receive will actually ship. And while most do, some may never surpass the initial testing phase based on user feedback or Microsoft's change in strategy. So that's more or less what the dev channel is all about. Then moving on to the next one, and this is the beta channel. And the beta is, if you're new to the program, this is where Microsoft recommends that most users join the beta, uh, the insider program by signing up to the beta channel. And it's also the channel where Microsoft tests features that are intended to actually ship. So there's a better chance of uh, features in the beta channel shipping than as an example in the dev or the canary channel. So the these features are usually in a more stable state and they are further along in the development cycle and closer to representing the final product. And if we click on the latest beta channel build, um, this is still running on Windows 11 23H2, which is last year's annual feature update. And the latest build is 22635.4515. And the chance of something going wrong or the risk of something going wrong in the beta channel is low according to Microsoft and then the last one applies to both um, Windows 10 and Windows 11 
and that's the release preview channel and this is the channel for people who want access to the next stable release ahead of everyone else so once new features have been finalized and signed off microsoft will send them to the release preview channel for a final round of testing to obviously ensure that there are no last minute bugs or issues before rolling them out to the public so i think in theory though with the current status of windows 11 24h2 i think in theory that's a lot simply simpler said than in actual reality but nonetheless moving on and as mentioned you get uh, two builds in the release preview one for the uh, windows 10 and one for windows 11 and the latest build for windows 10 if you just head over to that is 19045.5194 so that's windows 10 22h2 and the latest build for windows 11 is 26100.2448 and that's still based on windows 11 24h2 which is the current stable release as well so um, i hope that gives you a little bit of extra insight into the the windows insider program consisting of the canary channel dev channel beta channel and release preview channel and i hope you found the video useful so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one